How's it going guys? Just walking the dog this way mate. Um, just thought I'd show you this pond. Um, it used to have fish in it many years ago, but uh, for some reason now the water's always down. There's, um, there is a lot of wildlife in here and um, a lot of lilies etc. I don't know if we'll see anything today. But there's all sorts in here, newts, frogs, there is some little fish in here still, but um, see a lot of people would come and drop their goldfish that they didn't want in here. And then other people will come down with the kids with a net, taking them out like, but yeah. I'm going to have me a little look round now, see if I can spy any wildlife, and if I do I'll whack it on video. Right, I'll speak to you in a mo. How's it going guys? Um, I just wanted to quickly add in a shout out to a very special boy. I want to give a shout out to Jack, my eldest nephew. I hope you're watching mate and I hope you're doing good. Uh, I'll see you soon. Hopefully you come and feed the fish again soon. Right. Right. I don't know if you can see here, yeah, you can see. I've uh, made a start on vacuuming out um, all the blanket ants. Are they going to go to my, I've done like about a quarter of the bottom of the pond. Uh, there's my golden tench, I've disturbed his hiding spot, but yeah. So, I think I'll leave it at that for today, because I don't want to stir up too much stuff, and then tomorrow I'll do another quarter and so on, so you'll be able to see me liner again soon. <laughs> right, I shall crack on, and I'll speak to you soon. How's it going, guys? Yeah, right, loads more to do today. Um, I've got to continue vacuuming out the bottom try and get rid of all this staining off the clover leaf. Um, I need to make a longer grounding rod for this electric fence because it's just not working. Um, a few other bits I've got to do, clean out the gravel filter and everything, uh, get all my mats out and stuff. But um, I need to start getting, um, getting something sorted for my cover. So yeah, I'll just flip the camera around a sec. Yeah, so. I don't know if you can see slightly, but yeah, I backed some of that corner out yesterday. Um, I'm going to do clean out the gravel filter now, and then I'll probably do this corner and that across the top of that shelf today. Um, and then I'll move on to the rest. But every day I'm thinking more and more about redoing this pond because I'm ju oh, just stay happy with it. Obviously, if you've followed me for a while, you'll remember that corner being lower. I did fix that, obviously, and I fixed the skimmer. Um, I've never covered it as yet, because of money troubles and whatnot, but I'm, uh, I should be alright again soon. So, I'm really, really thinking about redoing this. Just emptying it out, knocking all this down, digging it out properly, concrete pad, bottom drain building the blocks up, laying on this side instead of upright, uh, building straight from up so it would have like a four or five foot wall coming from inside. So yeah, flat pad, bottom drain, build up from the inside and then an EPDM rubber liner. Um, and I would have to ch slightly change the filters somehow, but yeah, um, it's not gonna be happening anytime soon. Well, I say that, but the more I look at this pond every day, I'll re I want to redo it. You know what it is, it's because I'm getting into the ponding properly now. Um, I'm starting to want better quality fish and I want a proper pond. In, ideally, like I said, flat bottom concrete, walls coming up, so the wall would be a bit higher. Nice window there, clad it with something nice, um, but yeah, so... I'm going to have to start a little savings fund, I think. Right, I'm going to crack on, clean these filters out now. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I uh, I said something in one of my videos about this pond vac, um, saying it was rubbish. But somebody mentioned, take, <laughs> take out this part. And since I've took that out and used it, I can't fault the thing. So yeah, whoever makes these generic pond vacs, I'll apologise to yourselves because yeah, it is absolutely fine. It does the trick, so yeah, I'll take that back. But anyway, right, I'm going to get on with me uh, normal weekly clean and I shall be back to you soon. Cheers, guys. 
Right guys, then if you'll see, you can see a bit there. Yeah, I've, um, I've backed out this bottom uh, two corners out. I need to get the um, brush attachment on though to get all the bits that I couldn't get. Then once I've done the bottom completely, I'll move on to all the sides and the shelves, which is going to be fun, not. So yeah, I need to finish vacuuming all that blanket weed treatment out, but I need to get a sump in there. Because that is just, no, I'm, I am really, really thinking about getting this redone. Well, me redoing it myself, but I'm just not happy with it. I mean, I don't mind doing the work, like, but why make your, your life harder when there's no need to be? I mean, even just having those drain lines across the bottom of these and K1 in the first two is going to make life so much easier. Because, I mean, I just need to agitate it. And drain it out, save me empty in the barrel, bubbling gravel, bloody, yeah, so you'll probably tell by the tone of my voice I'm uh, not in a good mood today, but yeah, so yeah, that's part of it vacked out now, this section, that corner over there, so I still need to do that and then all around the sides, but yeah, hmm, I'm going to get my thinking cap on, yeah, I, I'm I'm like, I'd say 75% towards building a new pond. You know, now I'm getting more interested in the hobby. Like I said earlier, I'm wanting better fish. I want this to look nice. I want it to be uh, low, not low maintenance, i.e. a drum, because I just could never afford one. But, oh, and I like my DIY filters. Um, but I could make life so much simpler and maybe get a level pond. That wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> Oh God, right, I shall crack on and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. How's it going guys? Right, um, it's cover day. Time for um, the budget pond cover Mark II. Um, cost me 25 quid, it's a clear tarp with a woven sort of structure for strength, UV stable. I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach it yet, uh, but hopefully it'll keep the wind chill off the water. I'll show it you now, hang on, uh, flip this camera around one sec. Yeah, so that's it there. It's just a clear, um, a clear tarp woven for strength. It's got um, eyelets in the corners. From eBay, I'll put a picture of uh, the uh, listing in the corner or somewhere, but yeah, that's it. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna attach it yet. I need to obviously sort it so the rain runs off. I'm thinking of using uh, this across the middle and I was thinking possibly, because I've got this long bit of drain pipe I've took off the house, um, it would be nice to have it so that drain pipe across there so I could roll it back uh, and it'd still be safe on there but I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure. I've got to get this electric fence off um, and get my thinking cap on, so right. I should be back in a moment. Right, first thing I've got to do is take this electric fence off. Um, it probably will be going up, back up at some point, but it'll be done properly. I mean, that that is how it's meant to go on, like with with these anyway, at least. But um, this, it's like a nylon uh, rope with. A little bit of like, I think it's stainless wove through it, which um, it's not very good. Until actually, <laughs> I, I could touch this normally when it's not on at the minute. I can touch it and it just gives you a little click. It's not like a cow fence where it bolts you. But yesterday I was over there messing with that little um, solar pump. I had my hand in the water and touched my arm on that at the same time. And boom, it went right up my arm, man. <laughs> It was horrible anyway yeah so the better wire is the um, solid aluminium cable that's the one the best one and I've um, I've done a, a longer ground spike now it's about three foot uh, just a bit of galve galve bar like but yeah so right I'm gonna strip this wire off now and unfold the um, the new cover and see what I can get sorted Right, I should be back in a moment. Cheers, guys. Right, so for now, I've just put um, a piece of wood across the middle. I'm going to open this up now. Um, 
and have a think. I'm still not 100% on how I'm going to do it because I don't want it to uh, catch loads of rain, obviously, and I don't know if that's going to be high enough. So I'm going to keep messing and see what I can come up with. All right, guys, what I've done for now is it, it uh, came with some eyelets. So I've just put some screws and washers. Uh, sorry, down here. Oops. Come around here. So that's all that. And then I've got one over this corner. And because um, this tarp was a bit bigger than what I ordered, um, I've just had to fold the excess up for now. I've put two blocks on. Um, and then a load of gravel all on the rest of it just to weigh it down but um, in all honesty I can't see that keeping the rain off the, uh, the highest point is that piece of wood that I put uh, across the middle um, but yeah I'm looking now and I don't think that's going to be enough for the water to run off but we'll test it when it rains um, I can always raise that up um, couple of blocks under it and then it will create more of a uh, angle for runoff so we shall see but what I did with that black one last year was I just punctured a loads of holes in it uh, to let the rain drip into the pond I mean I know it's not stopping the rain getting in but it's keeping the wind chill off the water which is the main thing I wanted to do uh, the only upgrade is having it clear so the fish aren't in complete darkness like so yeah that's it as we stand at the minute um, I still need to get this drain pipe sorted uh, and attach it across here so I can roll it back. But, um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to do that. But anyway, yeah, so that's it then. Budget pond cover, uh, Mark II. Obviously it's very simple, it's just a tarp over the pond, but it's doing the job. I'm going to whack a couple of screws in them out, oil it's there. Um, and that flap that's behind there is going to be my corner that I undo. So yeah, I'm going to whack these couple of screws in now. And wait for the rain and see what happens. Right, it's going to get these screws in. Right, and then, uh, pardon me, sorry. On the um, side where I sit on my bench um, and feed them, I just put in the screws so they're half hanging out and then just hook that on there just to give it a bit of tension uh, I've got to do the same down there but um, yeah it's fairly tight at the minute so that's it I mean I will be adjusting it slightly and everything and I need to see how it sits with the wind and the rain but simple cheap budget pond cover keep the wind chill off your water I still let the light in so that'll tide me over now until um, next season hopefully you watch it'll rip in two as soon as we get a savage gust of wind yeah it's letting wind I don't know if that's the wind on top it can't be really getting underneath because that back's all tucked under uh, the only possibly on that side but anyway yep yeah, so that's it then guys right I'm gonna leave it there for today so as always thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon